NASA has rolled out their very own humanoid robot, and she should get us to the moon and Mars. She's in the final stages of testing. If you thought losing your job to a robot was bad, try being an astronaut. Valkyrie stands at 5 foot 10 and weighs just about 300 pounds. For reasons that are beyond me, Valkyrie does seem to be distinctly female unlike some other robots we've seen. She also seems to be a fair bit more durable, but that makes sense because she was designed to be in war zones. She should be able to go wherever people can't, but she's not the first version of herself in space. No, that happened for the first time in 2011 with her predecessor, Robonaut. The benefit of using these guys in space is that they don't tire out the way that humans can. That's especially important for things like spacewalks where you may need to repair equipment and it's going to take as long as it takes. Presently, Valkyrie is not AI enabled, but she can be controlled from a distance. That means that if somebody is not able to perform a task or there's not a specialist available, someone could take control of Valkyrie and be able to do it even from Earth. Granted, that's going to be a fair amount more difficult in Mars or in route to Mars. Although having an AI-enabled Valkyrie landing on Mars before us and assembling structures is not out of the question. NASA is already training AI for future rovers as our current ones are degrading. That is a picture of one of Curiosity's wheels. Unfortunately, he's on his last leg. And after, he showed us that there might be life on Mars. Do you want to see some of the first inhabitants on Mars being artificial intelligent 300-pound robots?